I'm gonna try this again. Let's pop this way though and have a have a quick butcher. Let's see what what's supposed to be this way. Ah, I think down this trap door. I think there's spikes as well. Yeah, you can just see them, those little jagged things. So the developers really want to try and catch you out. It's like you can't escape. You have to do this. There's no turning back now. Okay, let's try this again. If I can just do a cheeky jump. Jump! Oh, I got skewered again. Right, okay. So I can't jump to the left. It looks like I'm going to have to jump to the back. Apologies, guys. We will try this again. As you can see, um, I do die. I'm not invincible. I'm, just fed up now. I'm really fed up. As I said, it's not difficult to work out what to do. It's just like you, when you just want to get through the stage, it's just a, annoying. There, so jump back, and there you go. So do that, and now I can save the game. Now, the question is, where do we go? Because we've got all these slopes, platforms, and things um, we're going to come to, and it doesn't look like, look like at first glance it's anywhere across. I've just shot, I think, a barracuda. So, yeah, there's like... The only way now is up, as uh, Yaz would say. So I'm just trying to think, is there any other routes uh, I need to go? I'm just trying to think think through the end of the level. I don't think there is, actually. I actually think that it's just a case of just going forward. Let's see what's over here. Yeah. Get my pistols out, just in case there's any more goons who want to surprise me. So yeah, look at this. It's all kind of uphill now now it's a bit ridiculous because like in the real world like I know it's only a video game and we have to suspend disbelief uh, but in the real world you could easily get up there Lara can't it's ridiculous all that training and she can't get up a simple <laughs> hill <laughs> look at that it's like oh but then again um, you don't want it to be too easy the idea is we need to um, do a cheeky jump uh, sideways jump, I think it's jump and jump again in order to grab um, a ledge and then shimmy across. That's how we're going to get up there. So, here we go. So do a sideways jump and then jump forward, grab the ledge. Now, it's not always obvious, basically, straight away. You've really got to know to do that. Um, I spent, unedited, about 10 minutes trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. I didn't know that I had to do that. So I had to really kind of be observant, which I'm kind of not <laughs> used to doing. Right, so now I've saved the game. We are up here. Get me shotty out. Let's have a look for any more bad guys. Come on. I'm pissed now, pal. Come on. Come on. Come on, goons. Where are you? I'm going to blow your head off now. I've got me gun. Oh. 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 I thought I was going to die then. Right, what's what's here? Let me guess. I'm going to get accosted. One. Is there another one? I think that might be it for this room. There we go. So I've got one of them. Has he got anything on him? No. It's almost like the game's like, nah, we're not giving you any more items, basically. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> they do give me a few, though. Let's stand on these chairs because it's something different to do. And it looks pretty cool. I always like, in Tomb Raider games, trying to get on the scenery. <laughs> scenery that you can't get on as well. And trying to glitch through it. That's always fun. Right. So here's something. There's a guy there. I'll take him out. Did I get him? I think I got him. Right, what about over here? Oh, look, there's a crate. Now, we need to move this crate out of the way. Now, we need to get back up here. All will be revealed. But we kind of need to move this crate in order to give us another route. Because we need to do, like... I can't get the words out. We need to do something and we needed to move that crate to help us do it is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's 
Has he got anything on him now? No, he hasn't. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you guys? You work for Marco Bartelli. He's not short of a few, Bob. And he can't give me a lousy med pack. Come on, man. Anyway, let's just carry on. Now, over here. Oh, hello. He looks pretty angry. We'll take him down. Has he got anything on him? No. He hasn't. Oh, hang on. No? Nothing on him. Okay. Right, can I jump across here? I don't think that I can, but I'm going to try anyway. I remember this as a kid. Um, something to do with this being like near the end of the level. So yeah, this is literally almost the end of the level now. And I think it's when we get up there, but we can't get up there for whatever reason. I think maybe we've got to fill it with water, possibly, in order to swim across i'm i'm betting that there's tomb raider two experts who can probably glitch in there so that's something i might look up i think it's entirely possible to do personally but i don't know i'm just a little bit too far away you think that maybe you could kind of drag a block from um from a, sort of this level to help you but no that's not going to happen i don't think anyway Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. Hello. There's a crate down here. Can I move this crate and get up there? I wonder. I wonder if I can... Yeah, I might be able to get up there using the crate. I'll give it a go. It could just be a red herring, though. Nine times out of ten, it's just the, the developers just teasing me. Oh, and I've just been shot. Oh my god. See, when you move that crate, one of Bartelli's thugs comes out immediately and you can't see him. It's ridiculous. I don't know where he is. There's some idiot shooting me and I can't even see him. Like, interrupting my block pulling and pushing. What a bastard. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind the pillar. I've got him. Well, has he got anything on him? Come on. It's about time you started dispensing the goodies. Oh, God. Once again, nothing. Right, okay, let's just carry on playing with this crate. Surely I can I can use it to get up. It looks like I can. Oh, hang on, there's something there. I just picked up. Right, whatever it is, we'll take it. I think it might have been a key, actually. Can I move this block? No. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, yeah. They were just teasing me, really. I think it's just, like, an easy way to get back. Oh, that's really annoyed me. I kind of thought, oh, it's got to be water then. That's the only answer, because I can't do anything else here. Everywhere else is blocked. Oh, it's annoying. I knew that the developers would do that though. Oh, let's let's put a block there and we'll make the player think that they can actually jump across. Yay, but no. Alas, we can't do it. And God knows why. Oh, I, I can see now, yeah, there's a slope, so I don't know if I could push it anymore because you just wouldn't go. It's stupid. I'm sorry, guys, I worry about these things. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, it's not going to let me go. Okay, well... I picked something up. I believe it was a key. Possibly. So. Let's have a look. Where do I go now? I think I need to go up these stairs. Oh, okay. Ah. Right, guys. There's a crate here. So I'm going to move this crate out of the way. Aha. Yes, we moved this crate out of the way, and this crate's another route. But how are we going to get there, you're probably wondering. Well, check it out. We are going to jump from the balcony down below. So we're back down here again. So that's why I was talking about earlier about creating a route and moving crates. It is annoying, personally. Yeah, I think this is it. All right, I'm probably going to get shot at now or attacked or something. So I'm just going to get ready. Yeah, there you go. I knew it. I bloody knew it. There you go. You're going down, buddy. 
All right, we'll save it there. Okay, can't go that way. Let's let's go this way. Yeah, let's use the key. Yeah, I must have picked up a key. I couldn't quite see it for whatever reason, but yeah, I picked up. I'd actually picked up a key. This is the theatre key, by the way, and it opens the way to the theatre. <laughs> and it kind of you're probably thinking, oh, it's just like the opera house. Well, yes and no. It's got the same kind of thing, but it's less dangerous and is is in fact. A lot cooler as well. I think we may be able to finally pick up some items that the enemies drop as well, uh, which is always good. As I said, once we do this level, there's only the deck, which is the last ship level, and then we can go on to Tibet and crack on with that. So that's kind of what I want to do. Really. Alright, okay, there's another guy up there. Oh, mate, I think I'm hitting him. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's gone down now. Yeah, I think he's dead. You definitely look like she was uh, shooting him. Alright, let's go check out this guy over here. Come on, he's got to have something on him now. No? Okay, fair enough. Right, there's the stage. Oh god. I can hear. I can hear something. I think it might be coming. It's either from behind the stage or it's above. Alright, fair enough. It doesn't look like I can do anything from this main stage, but let's just have a look anyway. I've got to be careful that they don't just kind of sneak up on me that's what I want to avoid right let's just go up here so we'll do a jump and grab uh, I'm not expecting him to have it oh hello yeah this is another guy here so we'll just take him out if we can I'll just die will you yes nope he ain't got nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, hang on. Whoa, he's got something. We'll take that. There you go. Finally. Right, we're going to hit this switch now. And what does this do? Right, this opens the curtains. <laughs> it opens the curtains. Why can't you just go behind the curtains? Because this is Tomb Raider, I wish you could go behind the curtains like straight away, but it's just the way it is. It's a puzzle game, guys. So it's like... In real life, the simplest things you'd be able to accomplish, but in Tomb Raider, they become a Herculean task. Right, we go behind the stage. You can check it out. Peter Cox has returned with his wrench. And let's see. He hasn't got anything on him. But it has gone a wee bit dark now. I can't really see what I'm doing. So There's a crate here, so... Um, just about to see, I'm going to pull this crate. I don't know whether pulling it's going to do any good. We will light a flare. Aha, yes. Because there's something up there. We might be able to get up there, actually. But there's also, like, on the other side. Is there anything on the other side of this crate? No. Well, just like a check anyway. So I'm actually using flares at, at long last. Um, I know it's been a little bit dark from my previous levels because I just... As I said, my PC is actually quite good. I can see quite well, even in the dark, on most Tomb Raider games. Unless it's like this, where it's really dark. But Tomb Raider 3 is kind of like the game where some sections, they make it so you really have to use the flares. Alright, what do I do here? I need to jump across this pit. Oh, look at that, yeah. More shards of glass. And there's a switch. What does this switch do? Ah, there you go. So that creates a pool of water, which was, which will allow us to swim across and exit the level. So yeah, we're doing well. <laughs> finally, finally been able to figure this business out. Okay, get up here. Right. So we're on the home stretch now. I think there's like another goon who's going to surprise me when I get to the pool. 
or maybe even after and then that should do it and we can actually move it move on up which is what we want because I I don't hate the ship levels but I just find them really difficult and very confusing but let's let's get out of here I think once I'm on the deck I'll feel better because at least it's it's kind of I would say straightforward oh hello yeah see that they just don't give up uh -huh. I'll take that thank you any more for any more all right that's ridiculous okay all right let's get out of here now and all we got to do is hopefully swim across and that should do it that's a lot Come on, Laura. Let's do this. I, I'm thinking there's probably going to be one more guy just to annoy me. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm betting. There's going to be one more waiting for me. No. Nope. Okay, there we are. And that is the living quarters done. All that's left to say now is thank you very much. This has been Lucas McIntosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, then hit that subscribe button because I do a wide variety of content each and every month on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for deciding to spend your time with me. Again, really, really appreciate uh, your dedication to this channel. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Dodgers Game for all the latest happenings on my channel. And again, subscribe because I do a wide variety of content from health, fitness, lifestyle, retro gaming to topics and discussions of interest. Right, uh, I'm going to end uh, this set of videos now. And join me next time because I believe we will, we will be doing the deck if I can get the words out. Thank you so much guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.